What's up guys? It's been a while. I know I haven't posted anything in quite some time. Been working and saving up doing a bunch of stuff here. Got moved into this house, but uh, probably first question you're asked, why am I standing in front of this and not the TA? Uh, literally all we're waiting on the TA is the machine shop to finish the work. I uh, don't know if there's been a whole lot of updates on the channel. I don't really remember, but I uh, got an LQ nope sorry got ly6 uh out of a 2008 um went pistons and rods with it uh it's gonna see maybe uh built to about like 1200 uh, thousand or something like that and we're going to uh, uh keep the bottle on it and then maybe next year or later this year we'll see how things roll but uh i'm thinking maybe f1a i don't know yet but anyway so literally just waiting on the uh, uh airplanes airstrips like right over there um, just waiting on the machine shop to finish up the work. Uh, update on the truck. Haven't posted much about that, but just fixing some nuanced stuff like that. It's still good. Um, just kind of finished up a little bit of exhaust work the other day. Uh, but everything's good with it. I got a built transmission over here. It's going to go, or I have a transmission to build and then put into it, but we'll worry about that later. This video is all about this car right here. <clears throat> this car I'm building for my wife. She's also going to be in the videos, but she's not in them now. Um, I should say, actually, uh, she's going to be in the videos sporadically. If you've ever been a relative to a teacher, you understand they've got like 40, 45 hours classroom time and then another 20 at home. So she's very, very busy all the time and gets like one day off to do something. So. If the weather's right and I can time it out and nothing else is broke, then she'll be out here working on this with me. Um, it's kind of a thing. We just went down this road to have something to do, kind of get out in front of the TV. The weather's going to be coming up. It's going to be nice. And, um, you know, just one of those uh, husband-wife bonding kind of things. Uh, we started out with a uh, 2001, I do believe, uh, 2500 two-wheel drive truck. Uh, tore that all down. I'll throw some pictures up um as i'm talking about it but uh, uh we pulled the motor and the transmission out and the harness out tore it all apart in about six hours loaded it all up and took it to the scrap yard sold everything that i could uh kept what i needed and i'm about 400 dollars in on that truck so that was a good deal and then i picked this thing up which was a lot worse uh shape or was it just needed a really really good bath uh, but pick this thing up for right around 500 bucks, like 800 bucks and a motor transmission, wiring harness, ECU and a chassis to put it all in. So I done some research, um, a long time ago about what car would be cool to build for her. And she said, well, she wanted a four door and I was thinking GXP, those are still expensive. Caprice cop car. Those are cool but they're also kind of expensive and they already have the V8 in it, so that's actually possible doable. But <clears throat> nothing really screamed until I seen a few cars uh, that were being built uh, online. It was a rare thing, not too many people was doing it. I was talking like five years ago. But the RX-8 has always been uh, in my mind as something that we could, we could put together. It is four doors, so it checks that box. Uh, it's gotta be an automatic, uh, so we've got a 480E in there. Uh, to put in it came out of the trucks two-wheel drive and it was a running working transmission I'm not gonna do anything to it uh, just uh, kind of flush it with some fluid and then uh, maybe a filter change but we're gonna keep the same converter the truck had half a million miles like 527 some ish thousand miles on it and uh, I'll put up a little video real quick of it doing a burnout in front of the house it don't mind the neighbors they're all really really cool so here's that So we, uh, uh, like I said, we tore down the side of the garage here and then we got rid of it all. The neighbors are really, really cool um, here at the, at the house. So anyway, this car is going to be um, kind of, uh, hopefully, a quick turnaround or at least a quick ramp up. Uh, I almost have everything needed. Uh, things will be coming in and popping in as far as uh, like deliveries and stuff go. Um, supplies goes, I haven't had that much of an issue. I've had to source out like uh, some springs by myself or or um, the pistons, a lot of people that I wanted to go to, they didn't have them and I just can't, I can't as just announce to everybody that BTR is without a doubt uh, the, the like one of the best uh, customer service shops I've ever worked with. 
Um, I tell you know, I tell him, hey, I don't need this stuff in a rush or whatever. It still ends up on the, the doorstep the next evening. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but they get you the stuff right when you need it. Um, it's all really, really good stuff. Anyway, so we'll be swapping this over. There's a kit that comes in. You can actually bolt this in, and they actually have on their website nearly everything that you need to do the job. So uh, we're going to be relying on that information really, really hard. And uh, we're going to be thinking that maybe we could just put this all together, get it running. We're not going to do anything super, super crazy as far as power adders or anything. Hoping to see like maybe 400 horsepower would be really, really cool. Uh, but it's going to be rowdy sounding. I got a Truck Norris BTR cam. So uh, that's just going to give it a little sound. Um, you know what I mean? Just this is not the fastest car she's ever been in but it's probably the fastest car that will be ever that she's ever considered hers obvious i mean for sure um but uh, she also i have more interest in this than she does but uh, i'm not saying it's not growing on her so that's also really really good so we're just gonna roll this in and see how she does and how she likes it we're gonna go to the track um uh, and she wants to drive it on the road so source out a title and get all that stuff taken care of and you know it's gonna be one of them things but uh, I'm gonna leave you with a video of a walk around and a, a kind of a display of some of the parts I got I got a lot more than actually what's there but a lot of that stuff's in pretty packaging the other stuff's just boxes and and and, and not in any kind of branding packaging so I'll leave that alone. Also trying out a new camera system and, and mic system versus a GoPro. So we've uh, maybe uh, upgraded. We'll see how that all works out. Um, but for future videos, this is all this is how this is going to be. And also, um, if things go well and pick up, I might pick up another GoPro for just quick shots or whatever I use my phone. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it off here and leave the rest of the video for you guys to uh, take a gander at and uh, update yourself with what's going on. And as far as the photo or as far as the videos go and stuff like that, like I said, I got more parts sitting on the shelf that's what's actually uh, in the video. But uh, I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be a good project for her. It's going to be very easy to drive. We're going to do a couple unique things um, that uh, is going to make it our own. Um, but I really, I really ain't got much else to say, so I want to uh, leave you off there. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.